Good morning. It's wonderful to be here. I've had this position as Director of International Operations for about five years. Somehow, this is only my first trip to Brazil, and it's opening my eyes. Brazil is an amazing place. It is a land of contrasts. It is a land of diversity, areas that are the most remote, people, indigenous people, living the way they have for thousands of years. And for us, here we are here today in Sao Paulo, a world city, people from everywhere, traffic, problems, many different things. It's a great honor and a pleasure to follow Aeneas. He told us a lot about what's happening with GIS and the opportunities that exist for us to make our world a better place. So is Brazil going to become a world leader in many different ways? Is Brazil going to take a leadership role with GIS to show the world how we can do a better job of managing our resources and becoming more sustainable? I think it's possible. Why do I say that? Because it's you. You're the contributors. You're the ones that are helping to create uh, this new sustainable planning tool using it to improve our world in many different ways. You're working on many different things. You're working on climate change. You're working on the environment. You are trying to plan and respond to natural disasters. And there are plenty of those, of course. You're working on building infrastructure, big infrastructure, that's going to support a growing economy. You're trying to manage that population growth through many different ways. At the same time, here in Brazil, there's something even more extraordinary going on. Brazil is, it's the lungs of the world. We all depend on Brazil, all of us, everywhere in the, in the world for our survival. And of course, uh, the basic economies, agriculture, forestry, mining, fishing. It's all happening here to support a growing economy and become a global player. So what are some of those things that are happening around the world? Aeneas talked to us about uh, some of the interesting work that you're doing here, but what does that mean in the global context? First of all, monitoring environmental change. This is something that is really emerging in GIS, looking at how we, it will impact all of us, rising sea levels, temperature increases, deforestation, one of those controversial things that happens here in Brazil. Looking also at microclimate changes and how that will affect species, individual species, and the web of life, and many other environmental things. Monitoring oceans and understanding oceans is really something that is just emerging. We think things are complicated on land. Uh, we're creatures <laughs> that live on land, and so that's our world, and we're uh, trying to understand that better. But what about the oceans? Many secrets are held there, many new things that we're going to need to depend on. Those of you here in Brazil know about managing natural resources. Many of you are involved in managing natural resources here, managing forests, managing groundwater and surface water, and managing habitats. Also developing energy. There's some interesting things that are going on. We're beginning to shift, actually quite quickly, 
from dependence on uh, the oil economy. There are new economies that are emerging, new ways that we're going to supply energy, renewable energy. Another concept called self-gen, self-generation of energy. So in other words, each of us will create and use only that energy that we need. Pretty interesting. We're also planning for the future. One of the best and most powerful things about GIS, we can actually plan what we want for an outcome using all of this geographic knowledge. We can design urban environments. We can make best use of natural environments. And we can develop and redevelop to make a more sustainable built environment. We're also managing land, cadastral systems, land parcel systems. These are systems that actually are the fabric of our economy. Also, notifications and using this more effectively for taxation so we have a solid economic base for government. Aeneas talked about designing and managing transportation systems. Well, there are many traffic monitoring systems. There's an interesting one in Moscow. They actually now, uh, the city publishes their information on the web. So you can take your cell phone and you can see, oh, bad traffic. And I can actually modify my route to try to avoid that traffic. Well, I hope next year when I come back to Sao Paulo, I have one of those systems. <laughs> We're also managing utilities and telecommunications for many different things. Managing new infrastructure, faster networks, more connectivity. This is very important. Another thing that I learned about yesterday in a visit with Sebesp, uh, they are actually a, a leading water agency in the entire world. The problems of the world, of course, also exist here in Sao Paulo. About one-third of the water supply is lost. That's pretty interesting. I don't know if you knew that. It was... Uh, Actually, that's not so bad. Other places are much worse. But GIS is one of the only tools that we have to be able to manage that in a better way. Managing buildings and campuses. We think about GIS as a tool that helps us manage large areas. GIS is actually emerging as a wonderful tool for managing small areas, individual buildings, the space inside, making them each building more sustainable and a more livable environment. <laughs> also things that are coming up uh, that Brazil is going to have to contend with are venues and campuses like for the World Cup and the Olympics. How do you manage all of the traffic in a small confined area? Uh, is, let's say uh, evacuation routes in the case of emergencies. Many, many different things in these more confined areas. Defense and national security obviously is a place that gets a lot of attention. This is actually one of the areas that is most important to all of us, our, our security and our, our, our well-being. Uh, GIS analysis and GI, geographic information is uh, growing in terms of its presence, becoming an infrastructure, actually, for defense and homeland security. 